and joining us now to take us back five years in time to when CNBC Africa first launched and get some insight into uh, what's happening from the top. We're joined by on the line from uh, ABN 360's uh, Vice Chairman Rakesh Wahi. Rakesh, joining us from Singapore. Rakesh, thanks for joining us today at, on CNBC Africa. Of course, five years down the line. Uh, take us back to that first day just as CNBC Africa was about to launch. Uh, how did you feel just before we went live on air? Uh, the same way as I'm feeling uh, today, Samantha, uh, good afternoon to all of you. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate all our staff across Africa on this great milestone. It's also important to thank all our viewers, our stakeholders, and more importantly, our clients, uh, you know, who've given their invaluable support over these years. Uh, I still remember, uh, you know, before the launch with President Mbeki, uh, we were all nervous as hell. And... Uh, you know, I think it was the culmination of almost about three years of planning. And I think it's just been a fantastic journey. Tell us about um, how the real picture that is playing out right now fits into the original vision that you had for CNBC Africa. I think the vision from the beginning, Samantha, was to, uh, to create Africa's largest business media conglomerate, which would encapsulate television, print, and the online business. And if we go back in time to the first uh, staff workshop that I had in, I think, August of 2007, I had pretty much rolled out what we were looking at in terms of building in Africa. Uh, we have achieved more or less all the areas of business that we set out to do. Uh, CNBC is now finished five years, and I think we've achieved a lot during this period. Uh, so uh, to answer your question, I think the key issue is that we've been able to achieve each of our imperatives in terms of our plans and we are well on our way to achieve them. I must say, when we crossed to Zambia for the first time, that stands out as a moment for me that I felt so proud because it was really a highlight in terms of CNBC Africa making inroads into Africa, opening up new bureaus, opening up new channels to be able to get information from the ground. So what's, what, do you, what do you remember as really some of the moments, highlights uh, over the past five years? I think uh, each and every uh, activity that we were involved in is an important part of our development uh, uh, setting up the first bureau in Cape Town, setting up our East African headquarters in Kenya, uh, rolling out in Nigeria, which was never easy, going to Lagos, going through the infrastructure nightmares over there, uh, you know, launching in Abuja. So I think each and every element of the business, as you set up, uh, you know, it's like seeing a baby grow, and every day is a new day. The new challenges, both in terms of technology, in terms of the people, in terms of training them, so I think it's just been a very interesting journey in, at all aspects of the business. When, when you started out uh, before CNBC Africa launched and of course planning for the channel, there was an infamous comment made by an economist calling Africa the hopeless continent. And it seems like that uh, has completely changed right now. We've just been covering uh, the AFDB annual meetings over in Tanzania and just so much optimism about Africa right now. So, so what did you see in the continent back then that everyone is seeing right now? All my life I've been involved with uh, investments into emerging markets. And for us, I think the more difficult a market looks, the more is the opportunity and more are the rewards from those markets. Uh, when we came here uh, and I started looking at the, uh, uh, the opportunities across setting up a media platform, uh, what was at that time prevalent was a lot of uh, discussions around despotic leadership in Africa, gloom and doom, a lot of negative stories about, uh, and the general perception of Africa was very negative. So the opportunity was essentially about changing these perceptions of creating a platform that would talk about positive uh, economic stories on the continent and about African leadership and the steps that were being uh, taken to create this into one of the greatest economic uh, hubs in the world. Uh, we started out with that, and that was our belief, that this is something that is going to be the part, uh, part of Africa's future. And I think we've been proven right in terms of uh, what we've done and what we've achieved to date. As a visionary and someone who you know, plans for future growth areas, what is your hope for CNBC Africa and African Business News five years down the line from here? Uh, I guess first and foremost, uh, the core to all our, of our business is content. So uh, key is building the number of hours. Uh, the second most important factor is to you know, improve on the quality of our content through research and building additional partnerships. 
Uh, you talked about our growth geographically, whether it's in Namibia or Mozambique, uh, but we hope to be in about 20 countries in, uh, by 2014. Uh, going and growing our verticals, which is uh, television, print, our greater focus is going to be on the online business. I've also recently set up Avian Pictures, which is going to now focus on creating documentaries, both around countries as well as around success stories of African leadership, uh, building on events like Abla's that we've already created, which is the Africa Business Leaders Awards. Uh, we see distribution as a large part of where we want to play, which is on the terrestrial free-to-air or on the digital uh, uh, terrestrial uh, uh, television. Uh, the core to a lot of our growth is going to be around building capacity, which is both uh, you know, towards leadership in the organization that we are building, as well as at the grassroots level in terms of technical, journalism, uh, and all elements of the business. Yep. Uh, the last area that we are, we are focused around is on uh, the ABN Education Trust, where we want to actually give back to uh, the society and to the communities that we operate in. So that's going to be a large part of our growth areas in the next five years. And of course, build the financial journalism skills that Africa so needs. Rakesh, thanks so much for joining us today to celebrate Afri uh, ABN's fifth birthday. Rakesh Wahi, Vice Chairman of ABN 360.